Hey, what's up? This is Chris Maxwell uh, showing off KMAP, the KMAP uh, auto hockey script that I made for working with Premiere. I want to show you how to do the uh, multiple tag subclip feature. So, um, so let's say that I'm, I'm working with Big Buck Bunny here, and I want to take this shot um, with him coming out of his hole and stretching. Um, and I want to create a subclip of, of just this portion of just this shot uh, and have it go automatically into the proper bins that it gets tagged with. So here's how that works. Uh, the normal Premiere shortcut is Control U to make a subclip, and you can you know edit the name. Uh, but we don't want to do that. We're going to use the shortcut for the KMAP multi-tagger, which is Shift Control U, and that'll bring up this interface. So um, these tags are the default that are set up uh, when you install the script, when you download it, uh, but you can go into the INI file and change these. Uh, and the cool thing is, is when you bring this up, you can use the number keys uh, ab above your keyboard and toggle uh, any of these tags and it will get added to the clip name. So um, it's not a reaction shot. Let's say it's a good shot and it's a wide shot because we can see all of them and then hit enter. and the script will do its thing. We've got a new subclip over here that appends the subclip number that's serialized, and then it adds dot wide and dot good to the file. Okay, so that's kind of cool, but where this really gets neat is if you create some search bins based on these tags, and I've set that up here. So if I open my search bins folder, I've got a search bin set up to list files that have dot cu in the name. I've got one set up that looks for dot good. We've got one that's looking for dot rxn and one that's looking for dot wide. So as you can see, Premiere automatically populated these folders with this one subclip because it has both wide and good in the name. So it shows up in the good and the wide. So if I continue over here to go to this next shot, um, we'll see Buck Bunny, and then we're going to get into a close up here in just a second. There we go. Beginning of the subclip, mark it. Okay, and we'll call that the end of it. Uh, so, again, you can hit Shift Control U to bring up this interface, and this time we're going to select two, which is our medium, or no, three, sorry. Let's do a close up. Um, say that that's three, a close-up shot. Um, and if, if you wanted to add all of these, there's an all to uh, check or uncheck all with the A key. Uh, and if you find yourself using the same ones over and over again, you can also use R to remember your selections. So the next time you bring this up, it will remember. So if I show you that, I'll do hit three for close-up and tell it to remember. It makes my close-up clip. And if I hit shift control U again, notice that it remembers Ah, uh, yes, it remembers the last thing. And if I tell it to not remember, then it won't remember anymore. Groovy. And I can hit escape to cancel out. Okay, so uh, one more thing to show you. We'll just uh, pull another clip here from um, our, our bunny movie. Um, have it when our, our little characters get introduced here. So I'll mark the sub clip there as, as we see all of them. Now, um, I like this because it is faster for me. Um, this is an alternate method of invoking the multi-tag interface, and that is, uh, by default, I have this bound to the F1 key. So if I hit F1, it blips up and it goes away. But the idea here is that you hold it down, and when while you have it held down, you can add your tags that you want to have applied to the clip. So um, this is a, a wide shot. We'll call it uh, good. And let's call it a two shot, even though it's, you know, a, a three shot. Um, this is just for illustrative purposes. Now, when I let go of F1, then it's going to do its magic and it's going to make a sub clip that has those three tags applied to them. Uh, now, Premiere is kind of a pain in the butt and uh, puts your subclips, your actual subclips, in whatever folder you're looking at at the time, which I find completely obnoxious. So I'm gonna cut those and move them back to my root folder. I don't care if this is junked up, but I want my search bins to be nice and clean. So my search bins now only have references to these subclips and they have 
all the tags attached to them, and they're sorted thusly. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, it takes a little bit of monkeying around. But hopefully uh, that will show you um, how you can increase your productivity by uh, subclipping directly to individual bins based on the tags that are applied. And like I said at the beginning, you can go to the kmapoptions.ini file that is that comes with the script, and that's where you can set up uh, all kinds of settings, uh, the, some of the different shortcut keys that you want to use, some different modifiers, uh, uh, but most importantly, all of those tags that you see there in the interface, you can make those into whatever is meaningful for you. You don't have, you're not limited to these particular options. You can choose 10 tags of whatever works for you. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it makes your life easier as an editor, and let me know if you run into any problems with it, because I am not a programmer. Thanks.